Mikoti here again. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to simply design this wedding jota in a split second. Okay, so I don't want to make it too long. So I've just, you know, um, picked out the various components that will be needed. So this is just a simple wedding jota I did sometimes last year. So I'm going to show you how to design something exactly like this using Photoshop. Follow me, let's dive deeper. So here I have my workspace. That's my Canva. Now this time around is not a 2000 by 2000 pixel because this is a Jota. Of course, how do you do that? You just come to your file, new, or maybe you're just opening your uh, Photoshop for the first time. It's gonna bring it to a, uh, a, a, an interface like this. So now, since I already have numerous um, uh, numerous sizes have used in the past so that's why I have all of this custom here but if you're using it for the first time you might not have all of this so what you just do is come to print so once you click on print you will see so many um, types of paper you can actually use so for that particular one I used A5 so just pick A5 then this does not matter you can just go ahead with your design okay so i picked a5 it's a portrait mode and that's all so you, you click on create but i've created mine so i'm just going to close this so i have it right here okay so now the first thing i'm going to do is like i said I, I don't like to make my tutorials too long again so that it won't be boring so the first thing i'm going to do so for that reason i've already made sure that um, the necessary um, information or, or elements I'm going to need for this tutorial is already set so I'm just going to be um, turning them on so, so don't be surprised in case you just see me turning some stuff on I'll just put them in there before this tutorial before recording actually so the first thing is the background which I'm going to turn this on so obviously this is a background if you if you look at it you see it's a golden background which you can download online you can just search online and you get all of this so now i also have the image right here so i'm gonna make this image come somewhere around here now i'm gonna turn it off again i want to ensure that this part is totally taken off so how do i do that i'm gonna click on that background again and obviously the reason I'm using this background is because that's what the clients um, demand or demanded actually that they need a golden kind of background or something so I feel like to just make it simple but then still looking good so I decided to pick this then now I'm gonna um, add a layer mask so once I add a layer mask I can either use a brush or I use a gradient so for this in this um, situation or in this context now I'm gonna use brush so I'll hit up my B on the keyboard I hit up my B on the keyboard and I'll make sure I come here to ensure that this is actually on zero the hardness is on zero then I'm gonna increase the size of the brush using my um, bracket keys left I mean right bracket key to increase the size of the brush so I'm just gonna brush through like this now it has taken off that coating so I can reduce the opacity so that I blend this a little bit so that it, it's blended a little bit I can still decide to increase it to just yeah I think something like this is okay so since something like this is okay for me yeah I'm gonna lock it to ensure that this does not move around okay so this is locked the next thing i'm gonna do is turn the image on and i'll select it so don't make a mistake by clicking at this point you can see the brush is still selected so yeah so like i was saying make sure that you do not click at all because the brush 
tool is still selected if you make any single click you are going to erase some part of this image so make sure that your v you click on your v which is move tool so once you make a click then you can adjust the um the image so you can you can make adjustment to the image i think something like this will be fine something like this will be fine for this image yeah i think something like this will be fine So after you've done that, you can also lock it as well. Locking an image is not compulsory or maybe locking a particular layer is not compulsory but the essence of locking it is just to make sure that it doesn't move around at any point. Maybe you're not, you do not want it to move at a particular point, okay? Alright, so now the next thing I'm going to do is also, I would make sure that um, I add a layer mask and feather off some parts from that particular image because i still want to make sure i increase the size so you can see the more you increase the opacity the more it tends to erase the image so i need something like this afterwards i will reduce it again I just have this cool. So I want to increase it again. So once I'm done with this, I'm going to turn this on. Now, I've turned this on. So the next thing I will do is make sure that this come above the particular image here. So once it comes above, what I'm going to do is I would make sure I give it another clip mask or sorry, layer mask. So at this point, I'm going to use G on my keyboard. That's gradient. So I'll hold my shift and just something like this so i can increase the opacity to like maybe like 50 or whatever i can increase it to like maybe 50 percent then i just do something like this yeah i think this is fine yeah so same thing goes to this i'm gonna lock it as well oh i just want to ensure that um, it is well centralized it doesn't really matter because it's not really going to show then i'm gonna lock it as well so you can see it's coming up gradually and we're almost done with this tutorial so because it's just a very simple um um a simple uh, wedding jotter okay this is just the back cover or the front cover anyhow so now the next thing to do is to bring this up because if i should turn it on you won't see the effect it's gonna be behind so i'm gonna turn this on yes so i'll bring it right here then increase the size a bit So I think something like this is okay and yeah that's it's okay so I also have a ring I'm gonna turn on okay this is it here now I will make sure that this very flower is locked as well so that it doesn't move around then I'm gonna pick so I'll make sure that this image is also locked pick this ring then I'll bring it maybe right here okay so once i bring it there now i'm gonna play a little bit with the image it's not really necessary so i'm gonna come here click on exposure no let's just give it a vibrance and that's all vibrance 
but do not forget to clip mask then I'm gonna give it this vibrance I'm gonna give it this vibrance maybe desaturate a little bit like this I think that's fine okay you can see the bride it's very beautiful so also the groom is handsome the husband okay so don't mind me so now I'm gonna lock it again like I said I'm almost done with this tutorial I just want to make it really really fast okay so I'm gonna click on my shape tool then draw this rectangle to yes oh no um come right here or just above this and the shape tool again just draw a shape tool like this okay so i'm gonna change the color to this so now i'm gonna make it rounded like this I'm gonna centralize it control and make everything centralized. I'm gonna deselect then maybe just bring it right down here or what I can do still is to reduce the size of this maybe a little bit like this. I think that will be fine. So then I would lock it again and I just bring this up a little bit like this. Make sure that it's centralized. Okay. Good. So the next thing is to have their names, which I'm gonna come right above here and make a single click and I type. I'm going to increase the size to let's say 15. Let's see how 15 looks. Oops. 15. Okay, maybe 17 will be fine. So, oh, let's see. good so the next thing now is to ensure that this ring goes up this ring goes up so that it doesn't conflict with the name so the next thing is also duplicate this then okay duplicate it then words or word anyhow so I also duplicate this again duplicate this again and okay so I'll I'll take this up a bit So take this up a bit, this up a bit, maybe something like this. So now the next thing is to select everything, right? Then I'll come here and let me distribute and see how it looks. I think this is cool. Okay, so good. So. I can just have it a little bit up right here. Yeah, so I think that's really awesome. So, yeah, what's mm, okay? So, I need something here that's the date of the wedding. So, the date of the wedding.
so i have it like this then i'm going to i'm going to reduce the size let's see let's see 16 uh, let's see 15 yeah, i think 15 will be nice so i'm going to change the color to white so after that the next thing is to make sure that it's aligned so i'm going to click on this i'm going to click on the thumbnail hold my control and click to make a selection around the shape alone so the next thing is to align everything like this align it like this good deselect and maybe i should just increase the size a little bit to maybe 16 So the next thing I'm going to do is also click on the thumbnail, make selection around it, then align like this, like this. I think that's nice. So I'll deselect. Then maybe if you have cut C, you can just put it here. Cut C, whoever um, requested for the design. So basically, that's just how I designed this very simple wedding jotter now for this you can actually download it it's just a flower or flora kind of you can go to uh, pinterest or you go to i can't really remember yeah so you can just type floral background or something and you will see a bunch of them okay so the most reliable place is flora i'm sorry is uh, pinterest most times you can get some pinterest for free most times then um there's this particular one i've actually forgotten the name maybe subsequently if i remember i'll put it out so that's just basically how to design this simple wedding um i'm just so much concerned about this flyer everything wedding jota and tell me how you feel about this tutorial don't forget to like comment and share with friends and um subsequently like i said i'll be dropping more tutorials graphic design yeah ux maybe a little bit of data analytics maybe but with time tech related stuff and i hope you like it and if this sounds like something you really be interested in don't forget to just hit the subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so that subsequently when i post tutorial you'll be aware of it thank you